I just went to a talk, and this was a talk. Viewfinder. I just went to a talk, and this was a talk by a, a co-worker. And he's, he's a little a few levels up, but you know, saw him in a meeting yesterday, kind of co-worker, and he gave a talk because he's obsessed with the Wright brothers, the Orville and Wilbur Wright, who invented uh, the first airplane in, you know, a combination of uh, North Carolina and Dayton, Ohio, and wherever the heck they lived, which I guess never really found that out. But anyway, they created an airplane, and they created a combustion engine for their airplane with, you know, none of the automobile manufacturers would give them one. They had to make their own, and they used it for other things, make uh, printing presses, uh, b bicycle pumps, you know, air compressors for bicycles, because that's, that's the other crap that they had to do. They had to learn photography so they could take their own damn pictures. This was in, 1900, in 1904, 1905. They had to invent all this crap just so that they could invent the airplane. And, you know, I guess the ideas weren't that new, but they had to make it themselves. And back then, you know, two or three years went by, and you had this amazing technological marvel, uh, you know, starting with the railroad, and then the airplanes, and then combustion engine, and then uh, the uh, factory, what do they call it, the assembly line, and all this crap leading up to wars, and then wars ended, and, 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 and so on and so forth. But things are so complicated these days that in order to have a, all of the truly novel ideas are probably already taken. And if they're not, they're, they're novel, but they're so hard to get up. Anything to deal with quantum physics is a no, probably a really novel idea because we have no you know, exploration of the quantum level of, of existence. But how are you going to explain that to your grandparents? It's gotten to the point where you can't actually explain things to the people that trained you or the people that raised you. You have to just kind of hope that you could relate to it in some terms. And it's just so damn complicated. And I, I have to wonder if the, the idea of having one giant success that drives people to do, you know, excel at what they do, or should it be more of someone to, I guess nowadays it has to be more of someone driving themselves to a lot of small successes and over time those small successes can build up into something great and then you can look back and say wow that was amazing but the idea light lightning changes in technology it's just there's it's so rare these days but you know Moore's law every every 18 months of a transistor count doubles and I don't even know what the real Moore's law was anymore it keeps changing but um, it's, it's something, and you have to wonder if the telling the stories about in the 1900s when things were, you know, the next day you could have something amazing happen and it would revolutionize everything. We're not at that point of revolution, uh, revolutionary works anymore, but you have to wonder if that's still exciting or if you have to try and find something else to be excited about. I'm still thinking about this, so you, you can stare at Chopper while I just kind of sit here and think. It was a good talk. I had fun. And Mexican food. Can't, can't say no to that.